All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa Ballot 2023 special. Um, we have just one more conversation before we say goodbye. I'm glad to say we joined live um, from a protest ground by the South South Zonal Vice Chairman of Labour Party. He is live in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital. Prince Favor Ruben, good morning to you. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we hear that you um, and members of your party are embarking on a protest in Port Harcourt this morning. What exactly is going on and why are you on the streets? Uh, every Nigerian and, and every river people know that they have some part to resolve river state. And we don't want to make a voice to the war. Now, the governor of river state has, de has decided in connival with INEC to destroy democracy. Because you cannot abide the will of the people. You can't force people against their will. And so the, the simple reason why we are protesting is that the world should know that whatever result that emanates from rivers does not represent the wishes of river people. It is just the wishes of the governor. And so we would want the people to know, and that's the reason of the protest. All right, so where are you taking this protest to? Um, by members of Labour Party in River State. Where Are you walking to government house? Are you going to the INEC office? Are you going to the collation centre? Because I know that uh, they beefed up security at the collation centre with extra policemen and soldiers. I uh, hear uh, Abba Road in Port Harcourt is cordoned off from Water Alliance Junction. So where are you headed to with this protest? We are gathering at GRA Junction and we're going to move from there. Whether they block us, the press will be there to take our, our boy. And I believe that the world will hear it. That even the army, the police, the INA are all collaborating with the governor of River State to block us from our protest. So we are moving to INEC office this morning. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, if I advise you and tell you that you should, you should not go down that road, you should stay at home um, because what your protest will be an exercise in futility. And what will you say? Now, the reason I'm saying if, if I gave you that advice is because this same thing happened in 2015. <laughs> Prince Ruben, you know what happened to you in River State. I had, we, we, we spoke a number of times. This come same, again, come again. This same thing, this protest you're embarking on, happened in River State in 2015. You are very aware that one of the political parties in River State, uh, having you know seen that they were being cheated or they were alleging that there was some cheating and rigging going on, gathered at, G, at the GRA Junction and proceeded to march to the INEC office, including their, their governorship candidates, and they were tear gassed. <laughs> If the police tear gas them, they include the governorship candidate. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. The scenario now is different. Everybody in Riverside knew that the Labour Party was voted massively. And we have our result. But we don't want to show that the River people are not happy. And when we get to the court, it's part of the evidence to show to the court. So we know what we are doing. Hmm. All right. All right. So you're saying this protest is just aimed at getting some uh, video clips to show to the court that, oh, we went in a protest. It's not going to show to the court. We are letting the world to know that democracy in River State has been more than. That's all. So that the world will know the kind of leader we are. Okay. Uh, what are you going to be asking INEC to do since you're going there finally before we go? Finally, we are telling INEC that any result they are now seeing is fake. And if they are on fire, deceiving the people that they are going to make election free, fair, and credible, and at the end of the day, they are coming to Riverside to change the rule of the game. The people should know that INEC themselves are in connival with politicians to destroy democracy. So INEC is on fire. INEC is the point that we are now the result. So we are telling them any result you announce that does not reflect the wishes of the people, you, you are the enemy of the people. Hmm. That's why we are going to INEC. All right. 
All right, Prince Fiva Ruben, uh, South South Zonal Vice Chairman of Labour Party. We'll leave it at that. To definitely, we'll be getting back to you at some point um, as we uh, are taking more of the uh, election results. Um, we appreciate your time. Please stay safe. Uh, he's speaking uh, from the protest ground. They're gathering at uh, Jerry Junction, Port Harcourt, to march all the way to the INEC office. We have reports uh, indicating that there's a heavy presence of uh, armed men, both military and soldiers, from last night. Uh, around that area. We'll see what happens. My name is Kofi Bartels. Please uh, keep your dial, your channel locked on Plus TV Africa because we have conversations throughout the day uh, and updates uh, on ballot 2023 and bringing the results. Um, we've had results in Lagos State, Ogun State and other states uh, trickling in. So please stay with us and of course do follow us on our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We're also at Plus TV Africa on YouTube and we have a second channel Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. From all of us here at uh, studios in Victoria Island, Lagos, thanks for your time. My name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning.